Hey everybody, this is Greg Frechette, and I'm going to show you how to manually draw a territory on a map of the United States. And then you're going to be able to show the total population within that territory. Here we go. So the first step is, is this is an exercise of pairing data. So the first step is, is to get all of the demographic information as an exported data file that you can then apply to your territory that you specify. And we're going to export this by zip code. So go ahead and open up the data mapping wizard. I'm just going to leave it at shaded area. And I'm going to add demographics to the map. I'm going to click next. There's all sorts of information in here. So you could use this exercise for really any one of these categories right here. But I'm just worried about you know how many people live within a territory that a Velocity franchisee is interested in owning because you know you want to build a gym in a highly populated area. All right, here we go. So we're going to go population total by 2007, and I'm going to do this by zip code. That's as granular as I want to set it at. You could go even more um, micro and choose census tract, but we're going to go zip code here. You can use any one of these data points, but I recommend zip code. All right, go ahead and click next. All right, so this is what happens. So now the total population has been built out for the entire US right here. So you got all these different shades of green that you can see where the more populated areas are. I mean, here's Washington State. You get over to the Seattle area, it gets darker green. That's great. But what you want to do is your every population count has been exported by zip code so you want to export that into an excel spreadsheet and then we'll do a matching exercise with Ma with microsoft map point that will pull population data into manually set territories so all you do is you select the population and you export this to excel and what happens is it goes through about um, almost 30,000 records. There's a lot of zip codes in the United States. So now that you have the data exported to your local machine, I put it here on map point and I saved it as the US population spreadsheet on my local machine. I'm just going to reference this later. All right, so the next step is is I'm going to say I'm going to pick a territory here within Washington state and we're going to do um, long view area. And so what you do is in map point you come into the territories tool and you're going to create this manually and then you're going to do this very important that you choose the same data point that you did the population by because it's going to match this so i'm going to go i'm going to specify territory by zip code and you say yeah you could click and drag and it'll select multiple zip codes or you can manually click each one and you can set your territories that way so here on the page, I'm going to choose the, um, there's a new territory right here, and we're going to call this, um, I just, first one that I looked at, we'll, we'll look at the Woodson territory. So in the Woodson territory, there is this zip code, there is this zip code, and there's this zip code over here, 97048. That's the zip codes that this franchisee is interested in purchasing. Okay, so the next step is, is well, what if there's another territory that they're considering? This could be the Longview one. So I'm just going to add a new territory right here. We're going to name this the Longview territory that's on the other side of the river. Alright, so we're going to leave this kind of uh, selected right here. And then I'm going to show you the other tool that you can use. You could just right click and drag and that sets, that includes this one, this one, this one, and then you go ahead and click Add Territory, and that's going to be your long view territory over here. Pretty easy. Here's where the magic happens. So now you got that data export of all the populations, and so you're going to go back into the Mapping Wizard. So I'm going to go ahead and click Open the Data Mapping Wizard, and i uh, shaded, that's fine. And what you do is you link to data to map it next 
here's the US population spreadsheet that I exported of the entire US. So it has every zip code and every population count associated to it in a spreadsheet. Here you have, this is the worksheet right here and it has two tabs. There's the map point. It's kind of like a summary of how many records there are. And as you recall, there's almost 30,000. But I want to bring in the actual population totals by zip code into this map. I'm going to go ahead and click next. And primary key is zip code. Make sure that's set. And we'll let this do its thing. Once all of the zip codes are imported into this map, then it drops you onto the next page and it says, all right, show data by territory. Go up, make sure that is selected and then click next. And then go ahead and click finish. So now the map is updated, the colors change a little bit, but now you know that Woodson, make sure you label them here. So the Woodson is white. And within this territory, there's 30,000 people that live there. And then over at Longview, there, that's purple, so there's 40,000. So that's just a, a, a great tool for us to use to help Velocity franchisees identify areas throughout the U.S. that has a high population count that will be a, a good fit to build one of our facilities. Hope that helps in your usage of Microsoft MapPoint.